these volunteers here are working diligently to verify the flood buckets to make sure that they have everything they need in there. Uh, actually, they're now called cleaning buckets, uh, but it's the five gallon pail. There's some cleaning supplies in here, some laundry detergent, uh, some air freshener, some spick and span. They'll put some clothesline in there so we can hang things out to dry. There'll be trash bags, uh, some cloths to clean with, some sponges, uh, some clothes pins to go with the clothesline in case something needs to be dried out. But these will be vital for folks to clean up following uh, a flood or, or flooding in their homes. And again, this is what you've seen. We're sending some of these out to our hubs right now as we speak in uh, the Bloomsburg area. We also, earlier in the week, uh, ensured that there's some flood bucket stage in the Altoona area and of course as the need comes in over the next couple of days I'm sure we'll be uh, sending more of these out to the various areas uh, to help folks in need in cleaning up following this flooding. We're here today loading up some flood buckets that are going to go up to our Agape hub in anticipation that the flood flooding that's hitting right now because of the recent storm uh, the week of March 10th here, 2011, in the central Pennsylvania area. So it's a neat story that here we are, we have these flood buckets ready to go, and they are going out through our hub system to help those in need as they'll be cleaning up from the flooding uh, that's hitting currently. This is a great example of, of us sending things out to the hub system, it's a both and. You know, the hubs send things here for us when we're working on international and national crises, but now we're able to send some things back to them and help them in their areas as needed.